Hello everyone, Storm101 here. Today we have a mini severe weather outbreak that will be going on across portions of Kansas, Texas, and especially in Oklahoma, where we may see a cluster of thunderstorms that will develop across portions of uh, northwestern uh, Oklahoma and even southern Kansas. And those might produce a hurricane force winds, very large hail, maybe even a spit up tornado. So let's go ahead and get started with the SPC outlook here. As you can see here on their 4 o'clock update, there's an enhanced risk for severe storms, mainly across uh, central and south central Oklahoma. It does include Oklahoma City and Norman, Moore, Oklahoma as well. Your tornado threat is a little bit elevated in that enhanced risk zone as for a 5% chance. The primary the biggest threat is going to be damage to winds, where we can see winds that could be hurricane force, which is over 70 miles per hour, or it might be 90. Very large hail might be there as well, especially across western Oklahoma and portions of Texas. And looking into tomorrow, the severe weather threat does push it to Louisiana. If this here can load, even for portions of eastern Texas and southwestern uh, Mississippi, your tornado threat should be low, but really the primary threat is damage winds or it could be some hail with that as well. So let's take a look into the latest her model here. Uh, time to make it to vid uh, video 20Z is coming up as well, but we're going to have to watch for some storm development, especially over here and here. Where those might become supercells, they could be tornadic, they can be, they could probably produce a spit up tornado. But watch these storms up here across Kansas here. And it seems like these storms here uh, might be becoming a squall line here at first, but then these storms here start to catch up with the main line. And look at here Oklahoma City, Norman, Moore. Uh, about to get slammed by some damaging straight line winds, and that passes by. And I mean, look at that bow echo with that, with that storm. Pretty intense there. And that continues into southeast through Oklahoma. Enhanced risk might be needed to expand it for just areas that then it kind of gets off the screen. Let's take a look at the herd version 4, which is going to be a little bit larger here. We do not have the Oklahoma state. And what I've heard that this ball here has been very consistent with this supercell that might develop in the evening hours. That has a chance for producing large hail and maybe even for a spit up tornado. But it's these storms right here. There goes another supercell that might pop up there. But look at the damage you winds with this. It's pretty serious uh, looking storms there. And then pretty much it dies down wherever it gets into Arkansas, Louisiana. And then it starts to pop back up again across portions of Mississippi and Louisiana there. Which all hazards are possible uh, with that. I do not believe yeah, we have some other things to, we can look into. Let's look into the supercell composite here. Some of these, some of these supercells will be non-supercell type storms. Which I mean, well, supercells, but they're not tornadic. Some of them are going to be that way. As you can see here, supercells are pretty favorable in this environment here. Showing the size of 20. But tornadoes, this could be pretty low end. Better chance of that is when you get to that squall line there. And as you can see there, it goes down to the next day across Louisiana, Mississippi. I don't think enhanced risk will be needed across Louisiana, Mississippi tomorrow. But in enhanced risk is definitely needed for... Oklahoma for sure. Take a look into the significant tornado parameters. And it doesn't really show up well. I don't know why it does not really show up. So this is a, a close to a three kilometer cape here. So a little bit of above the surface here. Looks like it's not really want to show anything up either. Pretty weird. Let's go surface-based here then. 
so that you guys can have a better idea what it can look like here for later today. We're going to have a, a decent amount of CAPE, and as you can see here a little bit earlier in the day, you got CAPE values up to 2,500 for some areas of there, maybe exceeding that, especially across portions of the Texas Panhandle, Western Oklahoma, but when those storms already start to pop up, it's and especially going to the overnight hours, good chunk of that cave should be going down. This is updraft helicity swaths. And as you can see here, quite a bit of it, especially across these areas in here. Even uh, for a very nice strip of that. Really, this is an indication for some large hail and maybe even for a possibility for tornadoes as well. That's what it kind of gives us an indication of there. And as you can see there, it does pop back, back up again across Louisiana and Mississippi. So really the main threat for Oklahoma, mostly Oklahoma. It's ready for David U. winds, large hail. Uh, so a couple of those storms might produce a tornado. That is definitely a possibility. Then tomorrow, across Louisiana and Mississippi, really main threat is large hail. And David U. winds, but there could be a spit up there. That's definitely a possibility there. But anyways, guys, this is all for guys today. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this, uh, uh, really, a little bit of a severe weather update. I know the video is short. I do, I might be, oh, that was just a clip there. Um, but uh, I might do a live stream later tonight. It just really depends on how the weather's going to be behaving. And um, I do plan on to my, maybe... Instead of doing a video tonight or a live stream, probably do a live stream about the winter weather side of things. Like the, as you guys might have heard of, there's going to be an Arctic a high pressure across the pretty much the entire eastern United States, and there might be even be able for some be some snow across the Appalachian Mountains, even across the Northeast. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did like this video, hit that like button. If you really do like my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, notifications so you never miss upload. If you guys got questions about this, you can put a comment section down below. I will answer you guys' questions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.